Hi, my name is Sherry Nguyen, and I work in the marketing department for Teacher Creative Materials. And today I would like to read a book to you about robots. So let's get started. Robots, focusing on 3D shapes, a book by Joseph Otterman. Here's our table of contents. We are building robots today. Robot surprise. We get to build robots? The class was not sure they heard Miss Lopez correctly. Did she really say they would build robots? They hope so. Building robots would be so fun. Shaping up. The class had to study three-dimensional 3D shapes all week long. They learned about cones and cubes. They learned about other shapes too. Each is a 3D shape. Right here we have a cube, a rectangular prism, a triangular prism. At the top of the page we have a cone, a cylinder, and a sphere. Let's do some math. Miss Lopez plays a game with students. She gives them clues about 3D shapes. Help students name the shapes. Number one, I am a solid shape. I am round like a ball. What am I? Did you guess sphere? You're correct. Number two, I am a solid shape. I have six faces that are squares. What am I? The answer is cube. Ms. Lopez said the class would build robots from 3D shapes. Students would work in teams to build the robots. Each team would build its own robot. Getting started. Teams had to think about where to use each shape. One team started with a rectangular prism. It would be a power pack. It would make the robot move. The power pack is a rectangular prism as you can see here. That team also found a good use for the cylinder. It would be the robot's body. They strapped it to the power pack, then they added the arms. The robot was coming to life. The can for the robot's body is a cylinder. Almost finished. The team looked at all the pieces. They tried to see which 3D shapes were left. They made funny eyes out of the spheres. The eyes are two spheres. Let's do some more math. Another group wants this robot to hold an ice cream cone like this one. Choose the shapes they need. Did you guess A, a cone, and C, a sphere? You are correct, good job. Last, the team wanted to find a hat for its robot. They took a cone and placed it on top. The robot was complete. The top of the robot's hat is a cone. Let's do some more math. Miss Lopez loves the robot hat. She builds a head and hat like this one for her robot. What two shapes does Miss Lopez use to build her robot head and hat? Did you guess rectangular prism and cylinder? You're right. Number two, what 3D shapes would you choose to build a robot head and hat and why? Go ahead and share your answers with your classmates or your teacher or your parents. Proud teacher, Ms. Lopez was proud of all the teams they had learned a lot about 3D shapes. They had fun too. The class could not wait to get started on their next 3D project. The 3D robot is ready to go. Here we have an additional math exercise for you uh, for problem solving. Help one of Ms. Lopez's robot teams design a robot. Build or draw a robot using cubes, spheres, cylinders, rectangular prisms, and cones. Complete the sentence frames to describe your robot, then answer the question. One, my robot's name is, its head is A, its eyes are, its body is A, 
its arms are, its legs are. Then number two, compare your robot to the one on page 21. How are they alike? How are they different? You can work on this activity after our read. At the end, we also have a glossary where there are definitions to the words you just learned today and also an index. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you learned a lot about robots.